OK, so you, we've come up to the synthy, and we want to get a basic waveform out of it. So start with placing the pin in A3. And that will give us control over the first oscillator. Go ahead and change the frequency for us. OK, and change the uh, timbre on the level here. Some more sawtooth, some more sine. Yeah, OK. Then if we want to get sound out of oscillator 2, we change the pin to A4, which has different wave shapes, right? It's still a, a, a frequency control, OK? That's more of a square wave or a pulse wave, yeah, OK. Great, OK. And then if we want oscillator 3, we can put it in either A5 or A6. and this. A good example of how low it can get. Yeah, right. Okay. Lovely. Okay. And then finally, the noise source. Okay. Which does have a color knob. And you, you read in your chapter about the different colors of noise. So, what are the colors? Say? So, you've got white and it just says low and high. So, change that. Okay, and the other thing to keep in mind, notice that there are level knobs everywhere. There's level here, there's level here, 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 here. Um, that can sometimes mess you up if you end up having the level down when you think that you have it plugged in. So plugging it in is not the only thing that you need. You also need this level up. So if I turn down the level, it's connected. The level on that actual device is down, so therefore I'm not getting any sound out even though this level is high. So make sure you pay attention to the level on the specific uh, source that you've connected, okay? Is that a good intro to how to get sound out of this thing? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much, Lily. Let's give her a round of applause. And I will very...